Hi, everybody. So, yeah, uh, we're going back to the fuel system, but now, ta-da. Look at that. So much easier to use when it's like this. My God. I could build these all day long. So, now that the rotisserie is rotisserie-ing, uh, we may work in earnest on parts. Uh, more specifically, right now, we're just doing the fuel system. So... Uh, I have my line still on order from uh, Spruce. Still waiting on that. Uh, other than that, I'm working on the clips. That's right. So I'm working on the composite clips that the lines are going to go in. Uh, I'm also, so having done both of the left and right lines, I have to work on the outside of the clips. So the main parts of the clips... What I'm actually doing here is uh, uh, pop riveting them into place. So the, the right, it's two parts of these clips. There's the back part that gets pop riveted on, uh, and Vans actually pop has you pop rivet them in, but also use a washer, kind of like we do with the uh, fiberglass, so that when the rivet goes in and pulls, it actually pulls against the uh, washer and not the composite material. So you've got that. Uh, but the front side, uh, because you have to be able to get in there to take these things out, uh, those are actually just screwed in place with uh, the screw and uh, nylock washer. Or nylock nut, sorry. Let me tell you, getting these things in is interesting. And what I wound up having to do, so there's a couple places where bolts get in the way, and it's bolts of the ribs to the wing box. Uh, I know Van says that you can take them out wherever you need to and put them back in later. I, I don't want to deal with retorquing. I don't like retorquing, you know, bolts three times. I don't like doing it more than once. So instead, what I did was I took an old piece of trailing edge material from uh, days in the past, like the elevator or uh, ailerons, etc., and I used that, drilled a hole in a very tiny corner of it, and I'm using that as kind of a shim. So uh, put your pop rivet in place, then I put this shim on, you know, over the mandrel, and then I put the pop rivet gun over, and it basically puts a nice big spacer in between the two. Uh, as long as that pop rivet gun can grip uh, the mandrel, then you're okay. You can make a spacer as big as you want. And you just saw me there, rotating the fuselage back the other way, so that I could put something on that was kind of hard to get to, because I'm lazy and having that rotisserie is golden. So here I'm actually, uh, I've got the uh, file back into the drill press and I'm working on the front half of the composite uh, line holders. And there you see I've got a piece of uh, spare line that I'm using to test. So each time one goes in, make sure that it fits all the way back because these do have to slip on a pretty fair amount. And I'd hate to have to start putting these things on and then found out, oh no, I didn't drill enough of a channel, and so the holes don't line up, and it, it won't work. So, yeah, we we aren't we aren't having that. So, oh, I'm not having that. And since you're with me, you're not having it either. And then apparently I just decided to leave the camera there. So once all these things are prepped, then we're kind of good. Uh, I haven't put them on the left side yet. Uh, the other thing that we're going to do is, um, and I've got the pieces on order, is work on the return line. Now there's some people I need to talk to about this because I'm a little nervous about... Yeah... See the, the okay. So, so here's the thing. So you put the bung into the top of the fuel tank, and Vans has it in the plans. It's like, oh, should you ever need a return line, etc. Great. Here's the problem. You look later in the plans, and it shows that upper bung basically going to a vent drain out of the wing root, right? So you know you overfill the plane. It gets hot. Fuel expands. It needs a place to go out. And I'm sitting there thinking, oh crap. Uh, maybe I'm not supposed to put that there. Uh, <clears throat> I'm seeking uh, guidance on this one. Uh, I mean, there's, it, there was, it was there for a reason, right? It's 
I'm not imagining that they happen to put the hole in just the right place for a return line, which just happens to fit inside the brackets that they send you. So, anyway, I've got the I've got the pieces on order so that I can at least start cutting those pieces and have a straight bracket out to the side. The vent part I'll figure out later. Maybe it's got to go through the gas escalator. I I really don't know. Um, in the next video we'll keep on chugging. So thanks for joining me. See you soon.